Hi guys, and today I will be making a new video tutorial how to unbreak your phone, your Hawaii Wi-Fi 11, U10, and if you have the same problem, if you have the same model, you you have to watch this video to fix that kind of problem. This problem is usually happens when you have installed a custom ROM which is not compatible on your device and you just break your phone. So if you don't have the same model of this device, don't do this because you will make it worse. So just So the first thing you need to do is to download all the drivers, you have 3 drivers, you can click the link in the description below to download that and make sure to download that and you can have uh, the 3 drivers. Next is to go to the device manager. Make sure to print your computer's name and click the action tab and add a legacy hardware and just click next and install and next have a disk and browse make sure that you remember your the location of your drivers and the me i started on my downloads and i will find it right now so just find it to yourself and you have found the drivers first thing is to install the drivers which is the uh, first one that I clicked with so just follow this step so all I have to do is to follow what I did here and just click next I keep and it will now install and it's installed just click on finish and you can see your driver there Android and that is your driver so the second driver we will be installing is the second one and just do it again add a legacy hardware and just install it the hardware and find and have a di have this and browse it and the second hardware is here so just click that and click ok and next and next and it is installing right now and it is really easy so the third hardware will be like the same the third driver though So the third driver is found in the different folder which named Win7 and just click that and OK and just next and it is now installing. So when you're done installing the driver you can now start the flash. Make sure that you downloaded the firmware below, as you can see here, so just click in the link in the description below. The, down the firmware you downloaded is a zip file, so you, the first thing you'll need to do is to ex extract it in your desktop. So, extract files and go click in the desktop and just click OK and it will extract it. If you're done extracting, you can encounter the next file which is a RAR file. So you can extract it right away and just click OK and it will just go to extract. So just wait for that.
When done extracting, you can open the file and click the folder software. So just click the USB update. Just click the USB and find the scatter file. As you can see, you have to uh, remember the scatter file where you have stored it. So just go back and you have to download the SP Flash tool which you can find in the link in the description below. So just make sure to download that and it is a uh, zip file so you extract it yourself because you know it. So open the SP Flash tool version 5 and just click the Flash tool EXE and it will open right now. So just click in the scatter loading to load your scatter file and you can find the scatter file on your firmware which you have stored it. So go to your desktop which I stored my firmware. So I will find my own firmware that I downloaded and in yours it might be different but just find the scatter file in your firmware and just do the steps and go to software and the USB update and so just click the software and you can see that we have a scatter file here and just click that in your SD flash tool before downloading anything so just first do the format thing so just start and get your phone and remove the battery and put it back put back the USB cable you connect to your device and it, it will actually start the formatting and you can see format ok when done formatting, you will also remove the battery and the cable. If you have done formatting, everything is going to be fine. So just click download only and click download at the download tab. So just put your battery back in. and put the cable back also in and with, with a, without a second it will actually start the downloading thing so it is flashing right now and maybe it, just, it will just take 10 minutes so you, should, you can just wait and I will just skip the video uh, because I don't want my video longer So we're done, uh, we're almost done downloading it so everything will be okay if you can get a download okay and And as you can see we have successfully turned on the device and if you can see the logo there Just wait for that to turn on it will actually last maybe three minutes that will take long because um, it is our first boot because we break the phone and now we successfully unbreak it so you can maybe just wait for that so now we are on the touch the start screen and just click start and it will ask you to insert sim card and skip that skip and skip anyway and just here is your um, Hawaii Wi-Fi 11 
you can successfully um, unbreak you can go to the settings and about phone he's your he's is your device Hawaii Wi-Fi 11 4.4.4.2.2 Jelly Bean so just go back and thank you for watching if you like this video just make sure to thumbs up and um, if you want more videos like this you can uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have want to install a custom ROM on this device and you can watch the video I will put in a link below and thank you for watching